Okay, this is a quick screencast looking at the place of the sitemap application in Ultranet spaces. So here I've got a, a design space for teachers. It's a virtual staff room for a, um, in this case, made up primary school. And all the pages have been created, but because many of these pages have got drop down menus, navigation can be a little bit difficult. So a good way to ease the navigation pressure on people is to add the application sitemap. So I'll go down to the global navigation bar, to the actions menu, up to add applications, and then begin to type in the word sitemap. And I'll click, hold and drag to the top left of the page, which is a very good location for a sitemap to be placed on the page. Now I don't need to add anything to that. The sitemap information is automatically generated and it gives you a visual listing or map of the pages that are on this alternate space. So we can see that we have home page and all of these are links. So if you click on these, you travel to that page within the alternate space. Uh, staff meetings, timetables, school spaces. So these are all the pages that are listed at the top of our alternate space but the parent pages only are listed at the top. So once we start to get child pages added into our spaces, adding a sitemap makes it easy to navigate throughout the space because when we click on any of these links, we're immediately taken to that page within the space. Now by putting a, a sitemap in the same location on each page, we're allowing people to know how to navigate the space and, and um, providing them with ease of navigation. So that's the sitemap.